In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your old computer into a powerful router and firewall. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this old computer and you have to have two network interface card. Here is one built in with a motherboard and this is the second one I installed and I will put link in the description below for a really cheap one from Amazon. This one cost me like $10. Before we're going to start downloading firewall image, I'm going to explain this really quick how this is actually going to work. So for example, this is my internet connection. This is my cable modem. This is my router and this is my home computer. So that's how I have everything set up right now. And this is what's going to look like after I'm going to hook up this firewall router into my network. So again, this is my internet. This is my cable modem. So from cable modem, cable modem is going to be connected to my firewall router. And then from my firewall router, I'm going to connect into my router slash switch slash Wi-Fi. And what I'm going to do instead of connecting into the WAN port, I'm just going to connect directly into the one of those LAN ports. So that way this is going to act like a, a Wi-Fi switch. And then from here, I'm going to connect my home computer. So the reason why I said earlier that this firewall router is going to need two network cards. So one of the cables is going to come from modem and another one is going to go from this firewall router. It's going to go into a switch and from switch, you're going to be able to connect your laptop or desktop or any other systems. So we're going to use untangle. This is going to be two in one firewall and the router. We'll have to go to this website and I will put link in the description below. Once you get to this website, we need to hover over Get Untangle and click on Free Download. Right here, we need to scroll down. And in here, you can create an account with them. But if you're going to create an account with them, they're definitely going to call you and they're going to try to sell the product for the enterprise. Right here, just click on Skip to Downloads. And right here, click on Current Version. And it's going to take you to the current version. And I'm just going to download ISO CD installer. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to click OK. While it's downloading, we need to download one more program. It's called Rufus. And I will put link in the description below for Rufus as well. And right here, we need to scroll down. And I'm just going to download portable version. Once the download is complete, we need to plug in our flash drive into computer. And then right here, we need to click on Rufus or go to downloads and open Rufus. And right here, I'm just going to click on no. And right here at this window, we need to select our flash drive. And this is the only one I have plugged in into my system. And then right here, we need to select and we need to navigate to download. And this is the untangle. This is a next generation firewall slash router. I'm going to select and I'm going to click open. And right here, we need to click on start and confirm. Click yes right here and leave everything as default and click OK and click OK one more time. And now it's creating bootable drive. Once it's done, we can click on close and eject the flash drive flash drive that you just created, plug it into your computer and power on your computer. And on a startup, I'm going to be pressing F12 to boot into the boot menu on your computer. It could be something else. And right here, we need to choose our flash drive. Mine is USB Kingston data. And then we need to press enter and it's going to boot into flash drive. And right here, I'm just going to choose graphical install. And right here, I'm going to leave English. I'm going to click on continue right here. Continue again. And then I'm going to choose American English and then continue. And right here, we need to choose our time zone. I'm going to choose central for now. Click continue. And right here, we need to choose our drive. I'm going to choose the top one. That's my SSD hard drive on this computer. And then I'm going to click continue. And if we get this message during the install, 
right here we're going to click yes and we're going to click continue this is basically stating that our cpu is not supported i already tried using this cpu i know it's going to work just fine then we just click continue once the installation complete we need to reboot our system and once we're going to be rebooting we need to pull out the flash drive Once computer boot, we get to the screen, we need to choose our language and then click continue. And right here, we just need to go through the setup, click on run setup wizard. Right here, we need to click agree and then we need to come up with a password. And then we need to click on network cards. And right here, we need to plug in cable into our cards. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug in cable that coming from my modem into external card. Once I plug in the cable, you can see this little dot turn green. And then I'm gonna plug in my second cable into my switch. And then right here, I'm gonna click on internet connection. And right here, click on test connectivity. Connectivity test is successful. I'm gonna press okay. And right here, I'm gonna leave everything as default. And then I'm gonna click on internal network. And right here, you can see the internal IP address is set to 192.168.2.1 and I'm going to leave everything as default. I'm going to click on auto upgrade. Right here, I'm going to leave automatically install upgrades and right here, I'm going to uncheck connect to the command center and I'm going to click on finish and then I'm going to click on go to dashboard. And at the dashboard right here, I'm just going to close this window and this is basically it. This is your dashboard. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to disconnect this monitor and I'm going to connect to my router using my desktop computer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of the cables from my switch or from my extra router, the one I plugged it into, and I'm going to connect to my computer. So right here on my computer, I'm going to open internet browser and I'm going to type this internal IP address of a router. It was 192.168.2.1 and I'm going to press enter. And right here, I'm going to click on advanced and I'm going to click on accept the risk and continue. And right here, we need to type that same password, the one we set it up before and click on login. I'm going to close this window, skip for now. This is basically it. This is the dashboard of your router slash firewall installed on your old computer. And right here, you're just going to have to play with this. I'm not going to go into details, but there are a few things you can do. You can see that hosts, whoever is connected to your network, for example, devices, if you click on devices, you can see this is my computer it's connected to. And then once, once we go back, you can see map distribution. That's where I'm connecting from my laptop. That's to the places that I'm connected to right now. And also you can set up different policies and install apps. If we click on apps right here, we can click on install apps. And right here, it's going to give you many different options, like for example, web filter, web monitoring, virus block. And there are so many different options that you can install on your firewall, on your home network. And to install apps, basically, we just have to hover over it and click on it. And right here, this window, we need to click continue. And we actually going to have to create an account. So if you have one, you can just log in with your username and password. And if you don't have one, you're just going to have to create. And once we log in, we click continue. And right here, just, just close this window. And we can go back to apps, install apps. And right here, for example, if we would like to install web monitoring, we just click on it. And it's going to install. Once the installation is complete, we can go back to dashboard. And from the dashboard, we can click on apps again. And right here, we can see our web monitoring that is installed. We can click on it. And right here, you can set categories. You can create flag sites and you can do many. You can set up rules and you can do whatever you need to do. And then if you would like to add more apps, just click on apps and install apps. And right here, this is just different ones. Just choose the ones you, that you need and you can start playing with it. You can even install ad blocker on your entire home network. 
If you like this video, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.